effect of water. Okay, this is the contour. Contour. There we go. Let's just make some some highlights here. You see how the rocks really stand out? See, and the spray paint gives you this natural rock looking. So all you have to do is just go over it and add some highlights to it. Really nice tool, it comes in really handy. Okay, now with the Spicasso tool, we're going to create the space castles. Now, this tool gives you the ability to create thicker, see that? Highlights. So you can actually remove more, more of the paint. Right there. Okay. See that? It just gives you a, a broader area to, to scratch. But, the pointy part of the tool comes in very handy to creating small details such as these stairs. All I'm doing is I'm just scratching back and forth with the finest part of this tool. See? And then you can create little little towers or oh, there you go. Use your imagination guys. Anyways, you guys remember how it creates force fields? That's where you want to aim. You don't want to ever aim on your painting. So make sure you aim on the stencil, on this arc, and you just create, and it's just a magazine sheet. And when you spray that over, the mist will just kind of gently land on the painting, creating that fading effect, that force field. Ah, uh, you guys can tell I'm a real Trekkie, huh? Anyways, Using going back to the spray castle tool, I'm just going to use a little bit of clear coat to make sure our painting is nice and wet so we can uh, manipulate the paint. This is another really good effect for this tool. So that we can create a ring around a planet. All right. Now then, I'm going to go ahead and just create some more terrain here on the bottom, same way we did the top terrain, green, a little bit of orange, and we're going to cover it with black. Now when you remove the black, you know, of course you get the highlights, the oranges and the greens. That's right, so you want to do that throughout this bottom part. And the new magazine sheet, you'll see, removes more of the, the top layer of the paint. Nice. Okay. Now then, we're going to come over here, add some highlights to some of our, our ground, some contours as well. See, I'm just following the ground. Now then, now that we created our contours, I think we're ready for the next step. The spray castle funnel is going to spray a little bit of black. As so you see, the paint is in there. And it stores here, and when you tip it, it comes out through the end. So you can actually get some pretty fine detail. Here we go. And this will just be a tree. Now I'm going to make this tree overlap the planet so it'll look more realistic. See that? Okay. Now I added a little more, you know, branches and whatnot. But I spray a little bit of black here off somewhere. And I'm just going to create some plant life here on the bottom. Make sure you add random bushes, because in nature, you know, everything is pretty much random. Now, using the same technique, you're going to add the tree, the tree leaves. Now, you don't want to completely cover the planet in the background. So make sure you don't completely cover it. Just add, just add enough to where you 
cover parts of it but you want the planet to be visible now I'm gonna spray a little bit of orange here and well this will be highlights so it doesn't look you know black leaves and this will give dimension to our painting okay just like so see now you can really tell where the leaves are so it doesn't just camouflage with the space nice okay now you're gonna want to do the same thing you did here okay and on the bottom part and I'm just gonna use the same brush and the same, same sea sponge just like so add some random highlights and there you go folks let's take a closer look at it oh we got to sign it I'm just gonna use a little bit of clear coat and using the finer part of the spray castle tool it's gonna scratch my name spray castle 2008 Oh, and there you go folks look at all that fine detail yep, it's an intermediate level painting we use so many different techniques on it I hope you guys have enjoyed it till next time folks Special thanks to lunaservices.com.